Hello friends. The abrasion resistance in protective materials. The Martindale method is used for abrasion resistance protective clothing. For this, we need the Martindale abrasion and pilling device, a 38 mm sample cutter to cut the sample, a 140 mm sample cutter to cut the sample, sample holders, standard foam sponge, 140 mm wide felt, 100% wool fabric as the abrasive cloth or emery cloth. Before the test sample is cut, it is spread on a flat surface and conditioned. Four samples with a diameter of 140 mm are cut from 100 mm inside the selvage of the conditioned specimen. Samples are randomly cut from different parts of the specimen, so as to represent the specimen. It must be made sure that the sample is not tight when cut. Thirty-eight millimeters abrasive are cut from the sandpaper or wool fabric to abrase the specimen in accordance with the customer's demand. To do this, four pieces of thirty-eight millimeter wide standard abrasive are cut. Two methods are used in this test and the friction movement goes on till the sample is abraded in accordance with the second method. The samples we prepared are attached to the Martindale abrasion panel together with the felt. The abrasive fabric or glass cloth is placed in the sample holder and the test begins. One hundred and forty millimeter wide samples are placed on the abrasion table. The sample holder manual of the device is set down from the device. The collar of the table on which we will put the sample is removed and 140 mm diameter felt is attached to the surface of the table. After placing the sample on the felt in a way that its front side is on top, the presser foot is put on it. It is attached to the table with a collar. Four specimens are placed in this way. The presser foot is removed from the sample and it is checked to see if the device is in the abrasion position. Marbles are moved to the middle and the sample holder manual is placed in the slot. Later, we will attach the abrasive cloth to the sample holder. To do this, the collar is removed from its slot and is placed into the table slot.
The sandpaper is placed in its slot in a way that it faces inwardly. The foam rubber is placed on it. The sample, that is the abrasive cloth, is compressed with the collar. Sandpaper or abrasive wool fabric are used as abrasives. The abrasive cloth is cut at a diameter of 30 millimeters. According to their numbers, the abrasive cloth is placed into the slot where the sandstone is attached. In accordance with the type of sample, 9 or 12 kilopascals are placed into its slot. The second sample is fixed into the sample holder slot and is compressed appropriately. The 9 kilopascal weight is placed into its slot. Sandstone is placed in its slot for the third sample that we have prepared in the same way. In protective clothes, the total number of rubbing abrasion begins with low speed and is increased gradually. First, the test device is reset. The number of rubbing is entered as 45 and the device is started. After 45 abrasive frictions, the device stops and the sample is analyzed with a magnifying glass. When two different threads break, the test is stopped and the mean value is estimated for four samples. If the heavy sample has not worn out, it is checked at intervals. Whether there is abrasion or not is checked by means of a magnifying glass. The magnifying glass must magnify by eight times. The abraded sample is removed and the test is continued with other samples. The test is terminated after all of the test samples have been abraded.